What's going on everybody? This is Shields again from Carolina Custom Homes of Burlington. This morning I'm over here in Rougemont, North Carolina. I'm gonna be taking you through a custom Carolina Sparta. The Sparta consists of 1,825 square feet, three bed, two bath, one primary living room. It is going to consist of an optional slash site built front porch. This morning you are looking at a great example of a six by 30 gable style front porch. Within that gable, we've got the eyebrow kind of running across there. We call this kind of like a double gable um, or a split gable front porch. Vinyl wrap, pickets, and posts. No full foundation under that front porch. You are seeing the split face texture block, which is our included material. You are seeing the standard or included lap as far as the horizontal or side to side siding. Um, but this is an example of an upgraded or premium color. So you would pay extra for this particular siding color. There are five included colors, five or six, I, I think five, but anyway, five or six to choose from as far as the included colors. And then there's gonna be a handful of your premium or optional colors as well. So again, this is a six by 30 split gable front porch, six foot in depth, 30 foot across, treated lumber, um, decking and steps, vinyl wrap, pickets and posts. Anytime you get into that 30 foot across, you're gonna have a substantial amount of space up here. Uh, tons of space for chairs and rocking chairs and tables and all that stuff. You are seeing the included Salem trim today. So these thick, uh, some people call them lineals, Salem trim. Um, that is what we start you as far as uh, around your windows. You can option in the shutters if you would like. The four over one grid pattern. So one, two, three, four over one, just one there. Four over one grid pattern is also the included grid pattern. All your um, windows are gonna come with screens as well, like you're seeing here. They are all single hung with the optional to go to double hung. And then the window blinds are optional. The two inch blinds are about 900 bucks. And we'll go through all this stuff. Let me kick my shoes off, bear with me. All right, so at this point, you kind of know what's going on with the Sparta. You got this amazing open space here, dining room to my left. Notice um, when comparing to our lot model, we show just a dropped sheetrock header where this, uh, this T is. Here you're seeing more of that exposed beam look instead of the sheetrock header. So that's always an option you can think about. Let's get your dining space to my left. Get that linen closet to the right of that front door. I'll show it to you real quick. As far as the floor plan goes, they really did not change a thing when comparing to our lot model. Um, they flipped the utility room to the back. They extended the pantry. They accessed the master bath for, or the master closet from the master bath. One thing I would notice off the top, you are seeing the included eight foot ceilings today. Our model shows the optional nine foot ceilings. You'll also notice something big in, uh, in the living room here. We show a big shiplap wrap, wrap fireplace here. People always say, you know, if, if I take away the, uh, the fireplace, is the wall just flush all the way across? Obviously I say, yes, here's a great example of that. You are not seeing the transom window package like we show in our model because I do need nine foot ceilings to accommodate those. We also show one over the, um, the uh, window there of the sink. I also get a lot of questions. So our model shows like the tic-tac-toe, coffered ceiling, waffle, waffle ceiling, whatever you want to call it. People say, well, what does it look like without that? There you go. Just a smooth, clean ceiling from living room to kitchen, kitchen to living room. Just a seamless, nice, nice, smooth ceiling. Okay. Into that uh, kitchen space, notice the granite tops 
As you know, we start you with laminate for mica throughout, then you can get into your solid surfaces. You're seeing a great example of our six inch subway tile backsplash that we offer. To the left of the fridge, you're seeing the microwave nook because this customer stayed with one of the two included range hoods. At this point, you know, if you get the fridge and the range through me, you're gonna see a cost for those items. They're optional. You've heard me mentioning that all islands come with a pot and pan drawer now. So let's go ahead and demonstrate that. Look how deep that is. Always soft clothes and all that good stuff. And then you've also heard me mentioning the Lazy Susan in any corner cabinet. There you go. So anytime a kitchen has a corner cabinet, the Lazy Susan is gonna be there, just like shown. And then that pot and pan drawer is gonna be in every island. Uh, to my knowledge, I think just about every plan nowadays has a big island, so there you go. Huge walk-in pantry like 99% of the Spartas are gonna have that you've seen in my videos. You're included two panel doors, included casings, included crown molding, included base molding. That is one of your three included cabinet colors as well. All of our cabinets are shaker style, soft clothes, all that good stuff, but there are some optional colors. No additional lighting added, pendants, five cam lights in the living room, or I mean uh, in the kitchen, four in the living room. Here's that guest side of the house to my left. To my left is that second bath. Very similar to our lot model. Tub shower, which is where we start you in all bath twos. You can take it from there. You will notice that uh, we did granite in the kitchen and laminate for mica in the baths. So somebody says, you know, I want granite in the kitchen. My next question is what about the baths? We've got some alternative options that are only optional in bathrooms that we call uh, cultured marble, which you've seen a lot of here lately. To my left is bedroom three. Okay. Both spare bedrooms have walk-in closets. I will show you, I'm gonna show you this one a little closer. To my right is the utility room, just like our model. Nothing has really changed here as far as the actual layout. Like I'd mentioned, they did add the optional window blinds. Here is that walk-in closet in bedroom two. There's your optional fold-out ladder. So what would be included here would be a scuttle hole. I pull this down to show you an example of the uh, radiant bearing heat sheathing. That's called Tech Shield. I can line any roof with the Tech Shield. It's gonna keep your attic much cooler in the summers, just more efficient. Save on that energy bill. All right, so that utility room that I skipped over is set up a little differently compared to our model. Um, what is that light? There we go. So you've got your exterior door. That is the included exterior door with the novel series. I wanted to point, point that out. If you're using the series tab, like I like to use on our website, this would fall under the novel series. Remember the novel series is built by Nationwide. Of the two series offered by Nationwide, is, it is the more expensive of the two, but there are more options and more bells and whistles um, to your disposal with the novel series compared to the Heartland series. We'll talk about that as we go. Don't worry about that, but recessed dryer vent. So a lot of these places just cut holes right through your flooring to uh, vent that dryer out. You've got that recessed box there. In our model, we show a closet here framed out closet with a swinging door. Obviously, as you're seeing here, this customer option in that utility room sink in a base cabinet. You did not have to put it in the base cabinet. It would have saved you money, but if you put it in the base cabinet, there you go. 
back in that main space here. Hard to beat the Sparta's just general feel out in this main space. It is very nice and open, but not too open. Really good sized kitchen, great pantry, all that good stuff. Good dining space. Here is that Sparta master bedroom. As I've talked to you about before, if you were to Google the original Sparta floor plan, you actually access the closet, the master closet off of this buffer area. This customer kind of mimicked our lot model with the pocket door in the master bath to access that closet. So just to keep an eye on that. Another, uh, just like our model, they went with the trade ceiling in the, uh, in the, in the uh, master bedroom that you're seeing here. It's roughly a thousand bucks. I think that's a pretty fair price for the look you're getting, but if you don't like it, leave it out, save some money or spend less money, I guess. Um, here's that master bath set up very similar to our model again. I hate to keep referencing it, but, um, gives me something to compare it with. But anyway, you've got the four by eight, the biggest of the three showers that we offer. You will notice that they optioned in a soap box or shampoo shelf, whatever, and also the four foot transom window. Everything else about this shower would be included from the bench to the rain hand. Uh, oh, they actually did add an additional wall mount. So standard would be a rain head and the wand, and then the additional head would be extra. So not only do you have this huge linen cabinet, I've got three rows of drawer bangs, which is um, just a surplus of storage there. Got you, obviously, you've still got your, um, your doors there on top of the three sets of, or three rows of drawers. Here's that water closet. And again, you do not have to access this closet via pocket door from this location, but a lot of people seem to like it. This is the way our model is set up. But you got the little pocket door to access this really nice uh, master closet. You got shelving really all the way around this bad boy. I'll be honest with you. It's like I was telling somebody yesterday, you know, if, if you don't option in the largest shower nine times out of ten this window is going to move back into the bathroom which is going to allow us allow us to run more shelving so you know actual square footage i don't think the size changes that much but usable space as far as shelving does change a little bit so just keep that in mind as we're designing um, your sparta plan all right guys that's about it for this morning again this was the sparta one or Carolina Sparta, 1,825 square feet. We actually have one of these very similar, similar to this video set up at our location in Burlington, which is at 2450 North Church Street. That's Burlington, North Carolina, zip code 27217. Our office number is 336-226-9066. My email is shields, S-H-I-E-L-D-S, at NC Custom Modulars with an S dot com. If you are calling our office because of my videos, please ask to speak with me, Shields. And I uh, just wanted to demonstrate this slider real quick. The way I break down the slider is basically it's $800 cheaper or, or less expensive then the atrium door where one side opens and one side is fixed. So that slider is going to save you in two ways, floor space and cost. So just think of this as being about eight, $900 less expensive than the atrium door. And people always say, well, my aunt in the eighties had one that didn't work good. Well, I always tell people, I mean, these have come a long ways. They're nice and heavy latch. Well, have very little problems out of them. So this isn't your 1985 slider that your you know, aunt had problems with because their big old dogs beat up on it. So um, just keep that in mind. So I will walk you through all this stuff though. So don't worry about it, you know, forgetting little details. I'll go back through all this with you. I wanna thank you guys for all the views, all the subscriptions. If you've made it this far in the video and you haven't subscribed, 
what are you doing? Just go on there and press subscribe for me. Uh, I appreciate it. And if you guys have anything you want me to talk more or less about or questions, comment, comment down here and, uh, or give me a call, email me, whatever you feel comfortable doing. So thank you guys. Take care.